Shostakovich's Leningrad Symphony. Great piece, enormous piece, written for large orchestra, extra brass band. And I think it's a very powerful Russian symphony. It's about the strength to be Russian, despite living under incredible repression. It's usually described as being about the, the experience that the Russians had during the siege of Leningrad, during the Second World War. But we know now that he wrote a lot of it and planned the whole idea of the symphony before the war started. So it's not just about the fight, the tussle with the Germans. It's about living under Stalin. And we know now so much more about just how frightening that was, how repressive. The symphony opens in great optimism, with a great singing. But we know now that so much of the music portrays the difficulty, hardship and fear, above all, of living under Stalin's very repressive regime. The beginning, though, has an optimism and a muscularity that seems to describe an ideal communist life, Soviet life without the problems, into this serene, world, very beautiful landscape that gets quieter and quieter, the solo violin, we suddenly hear the sound of the drum. So far away we're not even sure that we actually are hearing it. So quiet. This little side drum sound seems so harmless to begin with. And on top of it, this tiny, tiny little tune, the sort of tune that a soldier might sing as he marches that might have irreverent words to it. It sounds catchy. But of course, when we hear this music for the first time, we don't realize that this side drum is going to go on and on playing for ages. And the tune is going to be repeated. And it's going to get nearer and nearer and louder and louder until it fills every fiber of our being, until it sounds so near so threatening, so frightening. And of course this music was designed to portray the imminence of war, but not just a particular war, any sort of conflict, the tension, the feeling of imminent disaster. When the climax eventually comes and the whole orchestra screams out, Shostakovich does something so moving. He makes everybody sing for the Russian people, like he wanted to sing for his contemporaries. He couldn't speak directly, nobody could. Nobody would show emotion in the streets in Stalin's time. It felt so dangerous because people might report you. Crying happened in private. You could never trust the person who lived up above you in the same block of flats. You could never trust anybody who you thought was your friend. So Shostakovich sang for his people through his music, and this is something that he did better than anybody at that time. He was a very great composer.